Hi guys, we're gonna try Max, the Curse of the Brotherhood. I actually just played for 40 minutes um, through the first four levels, and my screen recorder failed to uh, record um, anything. For some reason, it recorded my desktop instead of the game, and I've been having trouble getting even other recorders to work with this game. But it, it appears it's working right now. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take you through chapter one. Um, so basically Max reads something off the internet and his brother is sucked into the wall through a portal. So he jumps into the portal as well to save his brother from this giant monster that took him in. And that's where we are. So we're going to skip ahead now. There he is. Here we come. That's Max. Jumps uh, through the portal from his bedroom. I am uh, lands at Wonk in this world. Now there is the guy. He's got his brother. And away we go. It's a really cool game. I like it. It's a, I'm not a big fan of platforming games, but uh, these sections of the game here don't make you feel like you're in a platforming game where you're just running and jumping for the sake of running and jumping. Uh, you know, there's a point. You're you're running toward the monster. You're running from the monster. You know, you're doing something rather than just hopping across the level for the sake of it. He's awesome. He looks like a little stubby Bigfoot. Um, the controls are fantabulous. Uh, jumping on the ropes, the platforms, the ladders. It, it works every time. I was never a fan of platformers. I always avoid them. I always hated them. I think it's a product of my generation. Growing up, we're like on the Master System, the NES, the Genesis. Just everything was a platformer. And they were brutally hard. The controls usually sucked. <clears throat> the controls on this are fantastic. This jump could be a pain uh, in other games, but in this game, it's cake. He grabs the ladder from the rope, no sweat. I just died a second ago because I was just not paying attention at all. So there he is. He's got the kid. Kid. No, he just not eat the kid. Another purple headed thing with teeth takes back. No! However, yeah, I guess that's Max. His brother is someone else. That's my brother! Uh -oh. oh shit. Oh! Super cool. The kid's got a lot of personality. He um, quips a lot of things while you're playing. And the gameplay changes quite a bit. Right now we're running from this dude. So we're running towards him. Now we're running away. What's interesting is the main gaming mechanic, the original mechanic this game has, hasn't been introduced yet. And that's the, the, the marker where you can actually draw control things using his marker which is my least favorite part of the game but it introduces some nice puzzle elements ah shit you want to climb up that rope Way ahead of him. He always seems to catch up to me. Yep, there he is. Up the rope. Same thing, hang on. You're not gonna fall. Up the rope. Jump, jump, jump. And 
this is the first kind of platforming puzzle element. Rock falls on you. I remember this? I played through this already before and it didn't work to record. So I'm doing it again for you. I climbed up the rope and I'm back in action. Sometimes it's you versus the level, sometimes it's you versus the creature. And I just died because I suck. And it's a total brain fart, my bad. I'm just gonna swing back and forth here. Piece of cake. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Nice. Now we're in the desert. This is pretty much the end of the first the first level. We're gonna go ahead and climb up this tree in the heat here. A little bit of magic going on. You're gonna learn um, how this magic happens in a minute when we meet this uh, this old gal. There it is. Hey, who's doing that? <clears throat> so as cool as the chasing the creature is and running from the creature is, uh, it's gonna stop now for for quite a while. And right now we're just climbing this level, trying to figure out how things are being created like this. This is water. water? And ah, shit. Take your time here, you gotta swing, kinda wait for it. He just barely makes this jump. This jump's a little too tight. It's all a timing thing. You'll notice that that rope is swinging a little more than you realize if you're not paying attention. There you go. So we're up here. Quit messing with me! See, everything that's happening here is what we're going to be doing in this game. Controlling the water, controlling those those dirt piles, making vines appear. Uh, and, you know, also falling to our death. A little fall into your death. Never hurt anybody. Grab this ladder. Jumps right on. This guy is going to tell us about the bad guy. His name is uh, Mr. Mustachio. And he's going to give us a marker and explain to us that the marker is his weapon and his soul is going to be in the weapon. Blah, blah, blah. It's very funny, actually. <laughs> he uses puppets. Look. For centuries, I have sheltered this world against Lord Mustachio. Uh, we're going to skip ahead now. So, Lord Mustachio. Now we're in uh, chapter 1 3. Um, kind of like the hammer, Thor's oh. hammer. He's going to grab this thing off the pedestal. That's his magic marker. Your weapon contains Oh, sorry. It's a weapon soul. that contains her Only soul. You can wield it now. So, he's going to wield it. He's got the marker, and off we go. Your I'm actually using a controller and a mouse because. I find using the controller to do this is a real pain in the neck. So I grab and draw. And if I want to destroy it, I right click and uh, swipe it. See? So I picked them up. And this is how the puzzles kind of work. They get really interesting as you move along. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the game's graphics are nice. The game's control. Will you shut up? I'm trying to talk. <clears throat> Jeez. Anyway, the game feels great. Uh, the control is great. The, you know, grabbing the ladders and platforms and ropes is not overly hard. But then you're stuck with this kind of lame mechanic with the marker. But as you get better and as the levels progress, the puzzles become pretty interesting and, and the marker can almost win you over. Now, my last playthrough, I... I still haven't figured out how to get um, these eyeballs yet. Uh, 
those are the bad guys eyeballs apparently he's got like a hundred eyeballs and he's watching and he's the all-knowing so we're gonna draw this little platform here you gotta draw just the right height or you're just gonna die it gets frustrating but with a little experience and it, it, it kind of stops happening really all they're doing is teaching us how to use it right now because later on it's it's all about solving puzzles this guy's gonna explode and we're gonna die so we have to move along oh. gas dude right there pop and you die all right now there's a rock we're gonna draw that rock up and then push the rock. You can see the puzzles are starting already. This is the early, early puzzles. Ah, come on, X, there you go. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, by the way. It is the way to play Steam games, in my opinion. This is an interesting puzzle right here. We're gonna lift this up and wake this dude. Good. Oh shit. Jump back on this rope. And just patiently wait. You're gonna walk on it and you're gonna right click on this. Or whatever you do with the controller. I have a hard time with this controller drawing. We're gonna, just gonna swing back. And make our way across. So that's good. He's gone. There's our first puzzle. Oh crud. You'll notice the monster is gone, the brother is gone. They kind of give you a break from that. And we do a lot of this puzzle solving stuff here. Let me get past this guy. So we're going to get him over here. Get right. ourselves up. Go back here. And away we go. Hell with him. Moving along. So far, so good. And we go. I don't like this one. This is a little weird. I'll land on this stupid thing. No, no, no. Careful, careful. There's the first eye right there. Um. Shit. It's tricky because you gotta get just the right height. And you can't move it. Once you draw it, you have to destroy it. Like, that's it. See, I can't. Right? See how that's it? I can't make it bigger now. It's, that's it. So you wanna get just the right height to get this special little eyeball over here. I think the uh, best way to do it is from here because I can actually jump higher. Because this area is higher, see? So we go back this way and get it. There's Y and he's gonna yank this guy off the wall. There's eyeball number one. destroying mechanism to get past this but you still have to do it right all right so steps all right right click and destroy this draw a little higher destroy this draw a little higher up we go on you go max Felix is waiting. That's the first 15 minutes of the game. Um, the next two levels are really cool and introduce a lot more complicated puzzles with bad guys and rocks and whatnot. But uh, we'll do that another time. So thanks for checking out Max and the Curse of the Brotherhood with me. And uh, we'll do a second play to finish the next couple levels soon.